Hi everyone. <laughs> Hello. Is this authentic yes. Texas food? Yes. Yeah. Originally from Texas. Right? We got to see about that. Rose well, well uh, mini dinner rolls and also the peanuts. What's that? The peanuts and the dinner rolls. Yeah, Peanut, yeah, peanuts. peanuts and dinner rolls. Okay. It sounds Texan to me. And plenty of beer. Plenty of ice cold beer. That's what Texans and love. And also margarita. And, oh, okay. And, and whiskey. Yes, Texans yes. love whiskey. Yes, yes. Uh, Texans love barbecue. Barbecue. I like boneless chicken barbecue. Sure. Yeah. Know. Awesome. I believe it's at full of the bone. Okay. Sounds pretty Texas to me. Have you been to Texas? No. Oh, you're going to have to visit. Venice Grand Canal Mall. There you go. What do you think about that? Why this guy is holding a, a play gun in the Venice Grand Canal Mall? Should we be concerned? I don't know. Maybe. Bye, brother. You're cute. Thank She's you, cute, isn't she? What's, what's your name? Lorena, sir. L Loretta? Lorena. Lorena, Lorena. And where are you from, Lorena? Uh, from Cebu. Cebu? Oh, I gotta visit Cebu. Um, what do you like better, Cebu or this area? <laughs> Some dangerous curves. Some dangerous curves right there. Oh, is it? Uh, yes. <laughs> where are you from? Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. What are you doing here? Catherine Katz. Okay, remember her name. <laughs> so, next Olympics, Australia, watch out. <laughs> uh, who are you? Yeah, I don't know what kind of club this is, guys. Sorry. Nude Wait, floor. <laughs> or where are you going? <laughs> You're the one that said nude floor. Nude floor. No. Yes, it's the name. Hey, today we're checking out the Venice Grand Canal Mall. I think that is the full name of it. In Upper McKinley, Yes, Venice Grand Canal Mall. All right, here we go. So it's a beautiful building, obviously built to be a tourist attraction. If you think the outside is nice, wait till you see inside. But let's take a moment to enjoy this nice architecture, which is is not is not Filipino at all. Um, but hey, you know I'm from the United States, and that's what the U.S. is pretty much all about. We just steal culture from every other country. All right, let's walk over here. I want to show you something that I think is pretty interesting. Right here. Randy's Donuts. And we have the signature big Randy Donut, Randy's Donut right there. Check that out. A little bit of trivia for you. How many Randy's Donuts are there? I only know because I looked this up. I'm not a Randy's Donuts aficionado did you guess 12 if so you nailed it all right bonus points where was the very first location Inglewood baby represent and um, that is the that's actually the only other location that I've seen because I did live in LA for 24 years and, um, you know, spent some time in the, spent some time in good old Inglewood. All right, so here's the Grand Canal of Venice Mall. Venice Grand Canal Mall. Let me make sure I get that straight. And we have these guys everywhere. Let me see if we can, let me see if we can get a, I don't know if they speak or not. Let's check this out. Hey there. Do you speak or you no speak? <laughs> no speak. Okay. 
Uh, so since, uh, what is the name of, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to do some research. I'm gonna have to do some research. I don't even know if this is, is this part of Filipino culture that you're representing? Uh, is this part of Filipino culture? No, no, this is probably Italian culture that you're rep representing? <laughs> Will not talk, no matter what. All right, so we'll get to the bottom of that. I'll add information in the notes. All right, let's go, let's go inside. Say hello to these nice people. Hello. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> All right, so I've been in here a few times. These ladies have been very helpful. I got to give a special shout out because you guys have been helpful every time I come in here. What are your names? I'm Nicole. Nicole? Yes. And what is it? Ajed. Ajed. Yes. Yes, Nicole and Ajed. So <laughs> I, just, I just messed up her name. Anyway, very sweet, very helpful. And, um, and now we're going to explore this mall. Where would you recommend is the best place to eat here, to eat dinner? Here? Yes. Uh, Italian. Italianis. Okay. Ital Italianis. 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 And where is that? Other side. Okay. All right. We'll check it out. Okay. And let you know what we think. Thank you. All right. Let's make our way. They have, they have pretty much every type of cuisine, no, not every type of cuisine, not going to represent every country in the world, but all of the cuisines that you might be looking for. So this is Shabu Shabu, Tong Yang. All right, let's make our way over here. You know you're in the Philippines when you see a Texas Roadhouse. I'm joking, but seriously, <laughs> Texas Roadhouse. I've been to a lot of countries. I have not seen the U.S. represented as much as I have in the Philippines. They want people to feel at home, so we have Texas Roadhouse. Hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello. So, um, I'm from Texas. From Texas. Yes. So, is this authentic yes. Texas food? Yes. Yeah? Originally from Texas, right? We got to see about that. Rose well, we uh, have mini dinner rolls and also the peanuts. What's that? The peanuts and the dinner rolls. Pea yeah. Peanuts and dinner rolls? Okay. It sounds Texan to me. And plenty of beer, plenty of ice cold beer. That's what Texans and love. And also margarita. And, oh, okay. And, and whiskey? Yes, Texans yes. love whiskey. Yes, yes. Uh, Texans love barbecue. Barbecue. I like boneless chicken barbecue. Sure. Like yeah. It. Awesome. I believe it's at Fall of the Bone. Okay. Sounds pretty Texas to me. Have you been to Texas? No. Oh, you're going to have to visit. People are almost as friendly as the Philippines. I'm going to get Texas comments about that. They're going to be like, what? Because <laughs> Texans love to talk about how they are the friendliest. But... I don't know, you've got competition out here. Really friendly people, really nice people. Anyway, I've had Texas food all my life. I gotta check out some Filipino food. Well, Filipino food. actually, we're in Italy right now, right? So we, we have to get Italian food. Italian. This is a little slice of Italy in the middle of the Philippines. Italian food, you want the Italian pizza? So what, what, is that where we should go? Get Italian food? This one's like what this club beach and then you see the Italian food. Ital Okay, another vote for Italianis. So it looks like that we're gonna have to try that. Okay, thank you, see ya. All right, making it our way. Hello. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, is this, is this sushi? Uh, dim sum. Dim sum. Oh, okay. I got to get my uh, cuisines straightened out here. Um, and how good is your dim sum? 100% sure. <laughs> sell it, sell it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, 
I've had three people tell me I got to go to Italiani's. Oh, you Italiani's? The yeah. Tower Sister Company. Yeah. So I haven't even shown my viewers yet the canal. So yeah, we are in an Italian mall. So we're gonna have to do Italian tonight. Sure. <laughs> See you. Thank you. And look at that, the TGI Fridays. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Good. So I was just telling my viewers, I've been to a lot of countries, but the United States, United States. is represented here in the Philippines. <laughs> Texas Roadhouse, TGI Fridays. <laughs> it's like it's like we're still in the United States. It's crazy. Yes. So we have a lot of stores here in the Philippines. A lot of what? Uh, TJ Friday. Yeah. Yes. All the popular US chains are here. Yes. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> anyway, since we are at the Grand Canal Italian Mall, we're going to have to do Italian tonight. But yes. um, I may have to come back soon and see if you guys are yes. really representing the US or yes, not. Sir. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. See you. All right. Bye bye. Okay, without any further ado, let me show you the highlight of the Venice Grand Canal Mall. There you go. What do you think about that? How many malls have you been to with a canal going through it? And uh, Filipino dressed as an Italian singing Italian songs with a Filipino accent to their cruisers. First for me. Okay, and it's starting to to rain, just as just as it should in the Philippines. It's starting to rain. Everybody loves to get a photo right here. Iconic spot. Let me go up a little bit further here. Very nice. Really beautiful here, especially at night. I came here during the day and awful disaster. <laughs> Completely, no, I'm joking. It was, it was nice during the day as well, but uh, during the night is when you have the beautiful lights and everything looks just a little nicer, a little more romantic. This is a Tuesday night, so it's not so busy, which is actually good, I think, for filming. I think the, the day that I arrived, I did come by here, and I think that was Saturday, and it was pretty busy. Which, if you want to see what it looks like when it's busy, let me know. I can film a little bit of that too. But it's also nice to see it when you have space to move around, to see things, and to see these. I, I'm going to figure out what to call these. I don't know yet. So that's the end of the canal, the Grand Canal. So the boats come here to the end, they turn around and basically go back and forth. Let's do a look back over at this side, how beautiful it is.
here's the view from the end of the canal. Hello. There's a little area here. Well, it's actually a pretty good size area. And um, we'll come visit that later. It's a much different vibe with the lighting, but they do have a lot of little restaurants in there. Um, but of course, this is the beautiful romantic area of the mall. So let's spend a little more time out here exploring, and then I'll show you inside. Oh, this is a, a nice looking little place. Tony and Sergio. Tony and Sergio. You think that's Tony and Sergio inside? How are you doing? What type of food? Or th is this just a uh, wine bar? It's a uh, uh, Italian. Italian, okay. As it should be in the Grand Canal Venice Mall. Uh, okay, that looks nice. That looks cool. Yeah, uh, how, how, how does your food compare to Italiani? Itali Italianis? This is Tony and Sergio. This is the best food here. What's that? The best food. This is the Delicious, best? Yes. You heard from, what's your name? Uh, Charlie. Charlie? Yes. You heard from Charlie. This is the best. So, Italianis, eat your heart out. <laughs> All right, we're going to walk around some more and then, um, and then I'll have to make a decision. Will it be? Antonio and Sergio's? I don't know. All right, thanks, Charlie. <laughs> okay, it's pouring down all of a sudden, out of the blue. So check that out. Pouring down. As it should, it's the Philippines. This is what you get every few days. Or every other day, or every day. Just depends on the, on Mother Nature. Okay, we got, I don't know if you can see in the distance, but we, we got some cruisers still boating out there. Pulling up under the bridge. Hey, you know what? Just as beautiful in the rain. In a different way. We need to go explore the other side. So let's make our way over there. We're gonna take this bridge. And See what we can see. Look at these guys. Look at these guys camping out under the bridge. Just as we do in Texas when a tornado is coming our way. See, it's no different than Texas here. Okay, maybe a lot better. All right, let's make our way. No, thank you. A lot of people trying to sell real estate out here. That's what that offer was, a guy trying to hand me a pamphlet. But I was nice enough to take many pamphlets and even go on a real estate tour. And I'm not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to spend time doing that, unless I come across something that sounds pretty amazing. But otherwise, we're going to spend time exploring other things instead of attending real estate presentations. So over here we have a movie theater. And this is connected to the area I was talking about before with all of the different restaurants. So we'll come over here and explore. 
What's up, brother? Good, so, perfect. All right, my turn to get a picture. Yes. <laughs> so, the most so you, 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 this is Mr. Selfie. He's yes. like, he hangs out here and gets selfies with people. Yeah, that's my friend. <laughs> are you, uh, are you running one of these stores, or what are you doing here? Uh, I have a clinic here. You what? Clinic. Cleaning. You have cleaning. a cleaning. We do facial. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Yes. Sweet. Okay. So jump if you have time. Sometimes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Jump what is your name? Tom. Tom. And AJ. You? AJ. Yeah. This is Tom. If you come to the Grand Canal of Venice Mall, you need a facial. Send this guy will hook you up. It's, it's, it's a I will. I will. I will. Yeah. Yes. Send. Yeah. Me, send. And I hope you enjoy. What's the name of your company or your place? Origani. 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 Come to Origani. Do facial. <laughs> Treatment facial. Look, you want to look young like this guy, right? Yes, I'm 30 years old. <laughs> yeah. He looks 13. Yes. <laughs> All right, take care, brother. All right, see you. <laughs> we're going to take a peek in here, but just a peek because we're still exploring outside. So both sides of the mall have kind of this going on, a different um, inside area. The other side is all restaurants and this side is different little shops. Oh, can we say hello? All right. Hey guys, check this little nugget out. So tiny. So yeah. tiny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Three months old. Oh, adorable. <laughs> So adorable. What, what is, is it a boy or a girl? Boy. A little boy. What's his name? Maple. Ma maple? Yeah. Ma it's like a maple syrup. <laughs> maple? Hey, maple. Do you taste like maple syrup? I want to gobble you up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Where are you from? Yeah, from Los Angeles. Oh, I'm from South Carolina. Oh, okay, cool. I've seen some cute dogs in LA and everywhere, but I don't know. Maple might take the cake. I mean, Oh my goodness gracious, you're adorable. So tiny. So tiny. Oh, how can we tear away from this? <laughs> Screw them all. Let's hang out with Maple. Ma Maple is awesome. Can you have a little kiss? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Love dogs. Okay continue the exploration. All right. Let's check out these guys stranded under the bridge. Stay strong, hunker down. That's how you know somebody's from Texas, they tell you to hunker down. Continue this way. Actually, it's very nice in the rain. Very nice. I was hoping that it would not rain so I could do more filming uh, in the open area and not be concerned about it, but I'm actually glad it did. It looks really beautiful. I don't think the people under the bridge are happy, but maybe they are. Maybe they appreciate the rain as well. All right. So this is the other end of the canal. We have this nice little restaurant here over the water. Very beautiful. Nice design. Let's go over here. Of course, we have our Starbucks. That's, that's how I travel, friends. That's how I'm able to do it. Because Starbucks is everywhere. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know. I don't know if I've been anywhere where I couldn't find a Starbucks. Okay, maybe some areas out in the middle of nowhere. Oh wait, hold up. Actually, the east coast of the United States, I have a hard time finding a Starbucks. 
Because, why? Because Dunkin' Donuts rules the East Coast. And I'm sure I'll get some comments about that. Because I think it's pretty much Dunkin' Donuts versus Starbucks out there. All right, so this is where we came in. Let's go ahead and go upstairs and explore the second level. What's up? All right, let's get let's get a let's get a selfie with this guy. Whoa, check this out. Uh, none of them speak, obviously. So I'm gonna have to look each one of these up to find out why this guy is holding a, a play gun in the Venice Grand Canal Mall. Should we be concerned? I don't know. Maybe. Bye, brother. <laughs> All right, let's continue this way. And look, just in case you didn't feel at home, Ronald's here to welcome you. All right, there's the old Tong Yang, which we took a look at. Let's take a little look this way. There's your McDonald's. Watson's is the go-to place for any kind of medicine out here. Every mall has a grocery store, a drug store. Some malls even have hardware stores. You can basically do everything in the mall. This mall, because I've been here before, I know, and I'll show it to you later, even has a bowling alley and a trampoline, uh, what would you call it? Trampoline park, trampoline gym. So you pretty much got everything. And of course, what is a mall in the Philippines without Jollibee? I still haven't tried Jollibee. I need to probably try Jollibee. I'm picturing it, I'm imagining it like <laughs> I'm imagining it like the McDonald's of the Philippines. But I don't know, so I'll have to try. I'm going to give you a quick view from here. You can see this nice platform on top of that restaurant. I looked at uh, a video online of this place and I saw a huge festival happening here. And at the time, that restaurant was not even there. It was just the, a platform down below. Uh, and there was fireworks, there were dancers, there were acrobatics. Uh, it was a pretty amazing show. If I can find out, I think it was the grand opening. If that is a regular event, a yearly event, then I will, uh, I'll see when it is and uh, I'll try to make it out back out here to capture it because it was amazing. But you know, also this kind of peace and tranquility and beautiful lights here is pretty amazing as well. It's very serene. Nice ambiance, nice music. Yeah, if you thought downstairs was pretty, just get a load of the upstairs. Really beautiful. I mean, you got to hand it to the Philippines. This is something that you would expect to see in Las Vegas. It's really nice. Boats are still hanging out under the bridge. The rain is almost at a standstill. 
I don't think it's the right thing to say about rain. Rain's not at a standstill. Rain either falls or it doesn't. But the rain has finally stopped falling. I think, almost. And then those boats should be back on their way. Love these lights. Do you guys hear what's playing? Salsa music, baby. They, the Philippines teases me a lot with, you go through a mall, they'll mix in some salsa music. I don't know if you saw my other video. I was, I was trying to find, where's that salsa music coming from? I gotta dance if I hear salsa music. What's up? How are you? Tell us uh, what kind of food this is. Uh, Filipino food. Filipino food, okay. We may have to come here. Um, but I think because this is an Italian mall, I gotta try Itali, 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 Italianis. Is that how you pronounce uh, it? Sir. Yes, Wait. that's what everybody's telling me to go check out that place. But I still need to check out some more Filipino food. Um, are you gonna show me like your specialty? Yes, sir. Oh, oh yeah, sell it, sell it. Uh, see if she can, yeah. see if she can change my mind. We have crispy patas here. This is our signature oh. Let me let me see. It. So this is uh, crispy what? Crispy pata. Crispy pata. Am I saying it right? Crispy pata? Yes, sir. And that's that's what you would recommend. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. You're cute. Thank She's you, cute, sir. isn't she? What's what's your name? Lorena, sir. L Loretta? Lorena. 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 And where are you from, Lorena? Uh, from Cebu. Cebu? Oh, I gotta visit Cebu. Um, what do you like better, Cebu or this area? Uh, Cebu, sir. Cebu, that's home. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, I will travel there eventually and check it all out. And I will come here eventually too. Today, we're gonna check out Italian okay, food. Sir. Okay, Thank you, sir. take Just giving you a chance to take in the beautiful lights and scenery. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> See, what's up, Maple? I know I'm stopping a lot along this journey, but uh, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. And I, I hope that you get a sense of how beautiful it is through the video, because I looked at some videos before coming out here, and you gotta see it in person. You have to see it in person. It really is beautiful. I don't think pictures or video actually does it justice. So, if you get a chance, I shouldn't say if, when you get a chance, make it a priority. Come to the Philippines and make this one of your must-see spots.
another photo op. Taco Bell. You could easily come here from the United States and not change your eating habits at all. <laughs> you could you go to all your favorite American restaurants. So this place is always busy. I'm definitely going to have to check this out sooner or later. But tonight, after all the talking about uh, Italian, Italianis, we're going to, I think, check, have to check that out. But um, at some point, I nasal? Probably not saying that correctly, but at some point, we're gonna check this out. And check out this little nugget right here. Check out this little cute thing. What's that? A little boy or a girl? Girl? What's her name? Carmine. Carmine? Hey, Carmine. <laughs> so fancy. A little star. <laughs> Have a good night. Yeah, always busy. And I've been to, I've seen this restaurant in other malls as well. Busy there as well. Ramen, Ramen Kuroda. I'm sure that I'm mispronouncing names here and there, left and right. Hello. But hey, feel free to feel free to tell me how I'm supposed to be saying these things. Anyway, I'm just going to give everything my best shot, but. Just want to let you know, probably making some mispronunciations. I'll figure it all out eventually. So you get a better view of the upper area here of this restaurant. I, I'm guessing that that upper area is just used for some special events. I don't even see where where you actually, how you actually get upstairs. I don't even see that. But like I was speaking of earlier, I imagine if they have another event with all of the performers and musicians, that they'll probably use that upper area, which I think would be really fun to see. So if anybody watching this knows of a, a festival that happens here, on a regular basis, or even if it's even if it's not a regular basis, if there is any festivals coming up, please let me know. Would love to come back and see what it's like. Okay, so we've seen the full bottom floor, the full second floor I think what we'll do now is go eat at that Italian restaurant and um, and then after that we'll explore the side areas just so you are able to see everything this mall has to offer it sounds I shouldn't 
I feel bad almost saying, calling it a malt. It's uh, really nice. It should be called... The Grand Canal. We'll just go with the Grand Canal. It sounds more fancy than calling it a mall. Okay, back downstairs. Let's go over here. Buddies. Buddies. I'm guessing that's Filipino food. I apologize if I'm way off. I don't know if, what type of characters these are, if these are traditional Filipino characters or what this is. And I don't know why they have a hole in their crotch. It seems awkward, it seems unfamily friendly, but Maybe, maybe that's just what they do out here. <laughs> Get some waves from the corner. All right, let's go ahead and go downstairs. So Itali Italianis, I know I've said that word so many times, and probably only pronounced it correctly one or two times. Let's see, the quickest way to Italianis, I think it's dry now, I think we're gonna walk over here and go over the bridge. Let's do that. I think the rain has stopped. Actually, if the rain has stopped, let's go ahead and walk down closer to the water. Yeah. Yep. Rain has stopped. But I guess the people under the bridge just don't know that yet. direction. Right there. Perfect. All right, let's just go down this way. Hello. We're in Italy right now, right? We're in Italy, so I got to eat Italian. So everybody's been telling me this place is the best. Um, yes, of course. <laughs> All right. Uh, is there a wait or no? I uh, no, sir. Okay. All right. For what? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jackie.
What is that? Oh yes, thank you. Where are you from? Where are you from? You're from here? Manila area? Yeah? Thank you, Jackie. Alright, let's take a quick look at the menu together. <laughs> my my gimbal is not allowing me to look at the menu. Here we go. Something like that. Um, anyway, I'm, I just want to give you a basic overview of the type of food that Italianis has. They have all kinds of drinks. Uh, the first page was um, they start with iced brews, refreshing drinks, cocktails, all kinds of alcoholic beverages. Wine. We have their signature bistros. Okay, but we are going to get something to eat right now. That's the focus. And I think I might go maybe maybe a pizza and a salad. They have a lot to choose from. So I ordered chicken melodies, and it's amazing. Here's a picture of it. Really delicious. So I can highly recommend it. If you come here to the Grand Canal Venice Mall, you should eat Italian at Italiani's and go for the chicken melodies. Thank you, brother. Thank you. It was delicious. Thank you. Have a good night. The boats are operating again. What's up, brother? Okay, now that we've seen them all, or seen the nice, romantic, soft lighting area of the mall, the romantic area of the mall, the canal, the Grand Canal, like I said, doesn't sound right calling this a mall. Now we'll go into the area that we can call a mall because it's inside and it has a mall train in it. <laughs> All right, let's go check this out. So yeah, over here to the side, it's like a traditional mall. A traditional mall that has a train. Okay, we have clothing stores, jewelry stores. Cologne stores, perfume stores.
Sim. How are you? I think I have many of these now. <laughs> the showroom, sir. You can build there. Was that? We have a showroom that you can... Oh, I just toured. This is Alveo? Al yes, sir. No. Yeah, I, I toured your showroom uh, at the Ayala Circuit Mall. No, it's a new... Uh, okay, you, you, you got your own special yeah. showroom. Hi, well, what's, what's your name, brother? I'm Ben. You can ben. follow this me on Meg at the Fort on YouTube. Yeah, I have a YouTube then as well. Yeah. If you want to take a vlog there? You can show... Ben's our is ready to hook you up with a great real estate yeah. deal. Yeah, so... Let's check the unit, sir. But I'm not going for it this time. <laughs> I spent spent a lot of time looking at real estate, and uh, now it's time to just enjoy the rest uh, of the place. You so. can message me right now. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, serious marketer here. Yeah. He's hijacking. He's hijacking my video. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, Ben. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. <laughs> Venice Piazza and pigeon feeding. I know that we all have a bucket list and you probably have at the top of your bucket list is pigeon feeding. So no need to search the world for your perfect pigeon. <laughs> no need to search the world for your perfect pigeon feeding spot. We have it here. I've found it for you. And we're gonna go check that out in a minute. So a little something to keep you glued to the video there. You don't want to miss out on the pigeon feeding. Let's see who this is over here. Let's. Hello, cutie pie. When did you move from the other side to this side? See. Uh, we. You were at the other side earlier, right? Okay. Yes. You're like you're running the whole mall, right? <laughs> if she wasn't here, this place would fall apart. She's the only thing holding this place together. She's everywhere. You'll see her everywhere. <laughs> tell, tell me your name again. Uh, Angels. Say it? Angel. Yes. Angel. What an angel. What an angel. All right. I've got to go check out the second floor. <laughs> Thanks, Angel. All right. Bye-bye. Look at this little nugget. All oh, the doggies wear diapers here. It's really nice. Tiny little nugget. A little quieter up here, but there's still some interesting things to see. Did I, I don't know if I shared with you guys, but uh, Christmas starts early here. September. So Christmas decorations are available. I heard Christmas music in a mall uh, a few days ago. And maybe it was here when I came here uh, for the first time. They love Christmas out here. Which, you know, if you think about it, in the U.S., the U.S. would probably start Christmas earlier, but we're focused on Thanksgiving before Christmas. So that, well, I take that back. You do hear some places, you do hear Christmas music before Thanksgiving in the United States. Probably many places, actually. But a lot of the Christmas decorations don't come out in full force until after Thanksgiving, it seems like. Um, but out here, people have been telling me that any, any day now you're gonna to start to see Christmas decorations left and right, back and forth. We'll see, we'll see. If that happens or I find out about a tree lighting ceremony, I will let you know. And we'll check it out.
after eating that nice meal and then walking around in the in this quiet area with the soft music playing almost makes me feel a little sleepy but that that will change later on when I go out and hear some salsa music that will change everything and then I'll be refueled because that's what salsa music does to me okay uh, Big Boss Barbers right here and we didn't talk about that you more clothing shops Now, I wanted to show you the bowling alley and trampoline. Right there, you can see that jump trampoline. Is it over here? Maybe it's over here. Yeah. We jump trampoline park. And it's bumping. I mean that sarcastically, of course. Might be closed now. Look at these creepy individuals over here. It's a martial arts academy. <laughs> Speaking of creepy. Okay, here's the actual trampoline park. Where we actually can see the trampolines. But they look close. Interesting. How you doing? Are you are you closed? Helping, sir. What's that? You're open? Yes, sir. Where are the kitties? <laughs> Where is uh, the... Nothing, sir. Nothing. Uh, Did you guys just open recently? Is that why or new? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Uh, cool. uh, two years. Oh, two years. I hope it works out. <laughs> I haven't seen anybody here. <laughs> cool. Um, all right. So when nobody's here, you, you go bouncing around over there? Yes. Like do some somersaults and all? Cool, cool. What's your name? Mark. Mark? Mark. AJ. All right, thanks, brother. Take care. Okay. I saw a bowling alley before. Somewhere near here. That was in Okay. Let's let's get out of here. It's just too sleepy for my taste. It's too sleepy. If I stay here any longer, I'm gonna need a nap. Louisiana kitchen. Okay, back this direction, hello. Hello. So you know glow in every mall out here, which actually there's starting to be a Uniglow in almost every mall in America, right? And maybe not so much, but I am starting to see them more 
in the US and <laughs> I'm probably not saying it correctly. I'm sure some of you watching are probably like, probably like, pronounce it, what is it, uni Uniqlo? Uni I don't know. Let me know, let me know. The only other area I wanted to show you was the different food options on the other side. Oh, yeah, we'll go straight through over here. Oh, and I wanted to show you the pigeon feeding. I don't want to let you guys down. I don't want to let you guys down. I know that's why you started watching this video. Because you've been looking for the perfect pigeon feeding spot. Let's go check it out. Hello. Hi. Good, how are you? Hi, vlogger. Hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. What's up? Who are all these beautiful faces? Let's get over here together. <laughs> what is this one, baby? We will follow you. Okay. Yes. Awesome. You. Awesome. Uh, how are you? It's, I'm good, how are you? Nice meeting you. What, what are your names? My name is Kylie. Kylie? Yeah. My name is Joyce. Zara. <laughs> nice to meet you all. Yeah. By the way, sir, Adrian, we do treatment like we have cleaning upstairs. If oh, okay. We give okay. a voucher. Okay, and sweet. In your content. Thank you, thank yeah, you. This is our clinic upstairs. And where are you all from? Philippines. From Philippines, all from Philippines. But I mean, what area of the Philippines? Sure, yeah. In Baguio City. Baguio. Baguio City. Okay. Like Beach, Beach City. Summer, no, summer capital of the summer. Philippines. Oh, Philippines. oh, okay. It's a cold weather. It's a mountain. Oh, yes. I saw a video on that. I want to go visit there. Yeah. I didn't bring any uh, warm clothes, though. <laughs> uh -huh. But that looks amazing. Yeah. So you don't have to always be hot in the Philippines. You can go up to the mountains. Yeah. And it's yeah. quite cold. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Yeah, yeah. it looks beautiful. And he's our yeah. friend of Basset Ray. Oh, wow. It's a killer dress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's heavy. So, sir, nice to meet okay, you. Okay, good to meet you. And what is your name? Queen Amor. Amor? Yes. Check out Thank Amor. You try the <laughs> Some dangerous You're curves. Some dangerous curves right there. Oh, is it? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> Where are you from? Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. What are you doing here? Uh, vacation. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Till when? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm out here for my second month. Uh, but um, I think I'm gonna come back after the holidays and uh, possibly live out here. What's your name again? I like it. What's, What's your what? name again? My name, AJ? Yeah, yeah. AJ. How AJ, yes, yes, yes. Ah, so this is what you usually do? You're uh, like I, do I do different things. I, I've had a software development company. I have real estate investments. Oh. So now I just go around and talk to beautiful Filipinas. Hi there. <laughs> oh, wow. We're so glad we, that we talked to you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going, I'm going to get back because I got salsa dancing to do tonight. Okay. Any salsa dancers here? No, uh, sir. Are you a salsa dancer? So, uh, what's that? Salsa. Salsa. S salsa dancer. No, no. 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 She knows. Just okay. But no, no, okay, okay. But I'm not good at yeah. dancing. Oh. We've been singing. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. You sing a uh, dance? That's, that works out perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you usually do the salsa dancing? You salsa mean? dancing? Salsa. So tonight, uh, most of the salsa places are in Makati. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's a lot of uh, Park Berry, no? Are yeah. Are you just instructor like that? What's that? Zumba instructor also? Oh, no. No. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I used to teach. I used to teach salsa, bachata, hustle. I used to perform. I used to compete. Um, I've competed in LA, Miami. I like your uh, yeah. Performed yeah. in Vegas. So. Oh, no, thank oh. you. I think for how many days that I was stopping you here? I think for three days. No, yeah. I always see. Oh yeah, I was here a few days ago. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Aside from. Teaching that salsa dancing, what else do you do? Aside from what you called a while ago, you're having some what? Well, uh, I'm going to visit some beaches soon. So, so far I've just spent time in Makati and here, 
but yeah, I want to go to Boracay and all your different amazing beaches. Well, we also have the um, branch in Boracay. Maybe you will see. What is that? There. We also have the branch in Boracay. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you do? Because that's why I'm here. I'm, that's why I'm here for the, uh, for the, uh, <laughs> yeah, <don't> worry. <laughs> it's, it's not for the beautiful faces at all. It's for, what is, what is this? This it's is for the aesthetic cleaning. Aesthetic. That's, that's why I'm here. Aesthetic cleaning. Hair, yeah. <laughs> not, not for these beautiful curves. No. <laughs> we also have some clean. We also have the clinic in different ranches, but we have yeah. a third girl as well. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Good to know. All right. Well, I'm going to be in town for a while, so I'll stop by and see you guys again yeah, soon. Sure. Okay, you. bye. Take care. <laughs> From Long State. Here we go, guys. Pigeon feeding. The moment you've been waiting for. The Oh, so, I know I was joking about the pigeon feeding, but it makes me wonder if the pigeons actually, they probably eat out of your hand here. That's probably, that's probably why, yeah, some places you go, the pigeons are so used to the people that they just eat out of their hands. So I think that's why that says pigeon feeding I was, you know, basically mocking that, but I think that's what's going on. And now is not the time for pigeon feeding. So, if probably during the day and probably when it's sunny is probably optimal pigeon feeding time. And if it is on your bucket list, Hey, that's awesome. I'm not, I'm not here to judge. Electrum. All right, so we've seen everything here. Look, you want to ride a dinosaur? You can ride a dinosaur. I'm gonna follow this dinosaur out of here and then I'll show you the other eating options and and then we're done. All right. Let's go over this way. I was looking earlier today for good lunch places. This place came up. I forget exactly what the rating was, but I saw it on Yelp. 
And uh, I think it had pretty good ratings. And I'm going to be checking this out soon for lunch. I did not check it out today, but I will soon. And I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so this is a... We are at the other side of the mall now. One side of the canal has a typical kind of mall area that we were just that we were just in that area that has clothing shops and jewelry shops. And then on the other side of the canal, you have another mall type area, this area, which is focused more on food. A lot of different food options here. I thought that that went through to the other food options, but it doesn't seem to do so. So we're gonna walk back along the canal. We're gonna walk back along the canal and, and then we'll exit off to the side again and you'll see the different food options that I'm talking about. Dairy Queen. That's an oldie but a goodie. I think. Well, basically, I grew up with Dairy Queen. My family and I used to love going to Dairy Queen. And it seemed like while growing up, there was a Dairy Queen just about everywhere. But. It seems that over time, there's fewer and fewer Dairy Queens, but it's so interesting to visit the Philippines and then you see a Dairy Queen. Or something obscure like Randy's Donuts, which is very obscure, only 12 locations, as we talked about in the beginning of the video. Okay, back down to the first floor. <laughs> are we dancing? Yes. Sweet. What, what kind of dancing are we doing? Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. She was over here dancing. Yeah. <laughs> you got some music in your head. Yes. Oh, or are you dancing to something you hear? I don't know, I just... You dance. don't know? <laughs> What's your favorite dance? A-pop. Uh, Hip-hop? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Who's your favorite artist? Chris Brown. Who? Chris Brown. Chris Brown, okay. I grew up on hip-hop, used to do a lot of hip-hop, and now I salsa dance. 
you salsa. You have studio Hebrew. I used to do a lot of hip hop. Ah, yeah. Yes. For real. Yes. Yes, and break dancing mm -hmm. years ago. Um, did you watch the Olympics? The Olympics. The Olympics. You didn't watch the Olympics? Oh, okay. They had some good break dancers there. Okay. And they also had. Oh, no. in the Olympics. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, it's new, but I don't know if they're going to continue it because, uh, okay. because, um, well, you're going to have to look it up. You're going to have to look up a video of because there, there was uh, an Australian break dancer that I don't know from Australia. From Australia, um, not the best. Anyway. All the other ones seemed remarkable. The Australian one, maybe not so much. But anyway, you'll have to look it up because there was some good dancers there. And if you love hip hop, then I think you'll like yeah. the break dancing. Cool. Yes, yeah. I win in competitions also. You win in competitions? Yeah, oh, sweet. Orlando. Well, then you got to be in the next Olympics. Oh, like okay, what is your name? Catherine Katz. <laughs> Say it again. Catherine Katz. Catherine. Yes. Catherine Katz. Okay, remember her name. <laughs> so, next Olympics. Australia, watch out. <laughs> uh, who are you? Uh, I'm from Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Well, originally Texas, but I lived in Los Angeles the last many years. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But now I, I don't do any more hip-hop. I do salsa dancing, bachata salsa dancing. Salsa here in Philippines? Salsa, yeah, yeah. Makati has salsa almost every night. Because they see like salsa afro? Oh, yes, Afro-Latin. You see Afro-Latin. Yes. Yes, uh, because they also do kazomba, which is oh, from, from Africa. Yes. Yeah. In what uh, days you do it? Almost every day. So tonight is Vice in Makati, Vice Bar. And then tomorrow is really good. It's Dillinger's. What is the um, um, Times? The Times? The classes. Okay, I'm from the United States. And most times when you go dancing in the United States, there's a class before the social dancing. Here, that doesn't seem to be the case. There's other classes, but not before the social dancing. No, you you teach in Makati, you say, no? Oh, no, I used to teach years ago. I don't ah. teach right now. But, so um, no, you, you, live, you live here just... I'm visiting right now, but I might move. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. Uh, but you should go to... There's a Facebook page called uh, Salsa in Manila, mm -hmm. and it lists all the places where the dancing is happening. All the salsa, bachata, kazomba, oh, okay. zouk. Yeah. And you know and about hip hop I, I, places? I don't know about hip hop places. What, what, you should know about hip hop places. I know. Okay, but well, maybe you well, know. Well, more. Where, where's the best hip hop place uh, for anybody no, watching? I'm dancing in Nude Floor. It's called what? Nude Floor. Nude Floor. Yeah. Nude Floor. I, I don't know what. I don't know what. This is a family show. <laughs> family show? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what kind of club this is, guys. Sorry. Nude Wait, Floor. Or where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that said nude floor. Nude floor. No. Yes, it's the name. Like like nude, like naked no, naked no, floor. Nude, no, nude like the color nude. Like beige. <laughs> beige. Like it's nude. Nude. Nude color. Oh, okay. Well, in the United States, <laughs> when we say nude, we mean naked. Not nude, nude. Nude. Oh, okay. Nude okay. I thought I knew my colors. I don't know my colors. <laughs> All right. Wait, for where is going? <laughs> Um, but anyway, so if you want to do hip hop in, in this is in this area, or where where is this where is this place? Is it Makati? Uh, in uh, the, the hip hop place. Arena Mall, I think. Arena Mall, okay. I think. Okay. Well, you should know. You're the you're the hip hop star, right? Yeah, I don't know where it's the <laughs> exactly place. I don't. Okay. I know how okay. to go to there. Okay. So competition hip hop winner right here. Yes. Be on the lookout. So yeah. Hip hop is now in the Olympics, so go for it. Okay, I will. Represent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But wait, what wait, what is. Oh, oh, the channel? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's make sure we share the channel. Always fun to meet a fellow dancer. You represent hip hop, I'll represent salsa, okay? Yeah. <laughs> From Israel. <laughs> Sweet, I love it. From Israel. Awesome. Represent, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> See you. Bye bye. <laughs> I can always talk dance. <laughs> Anybody's interested in dance? Let's talk dance. Love it. So, 
there's, I thought, like I said, I thought that all of these um, restaurants on this side were connected. When we were on the other side with the clothing shops, that was all connected. So once you kind of go off into that area, you can just walk through all of those clothing shops and jewelry shops. But obviously on this side, they're not connected. But here's, here's the area, or one of the areas that I really wanted to show you. Because over here, we have the food hall where you have many different little restaurants to choose from, like fast food, order at the counter type of restaurants. And you also have a marketplace grocery store there in the back. But let me just give you a quick overview. We have Secret Kitchen, Sparrow Pizza, Pepper Lunch, Little Manila, Mr. Mr. Kim Kimbob, World Chicken, we have National Bookstore, New York Style Pizzeria, and Bread Talk. And then outside here, we have a gelato place. We have Dunkin' Donuts. Represent. East Coast versus West Coast. Dunkin' Donuts versus Starbucks. We have Froyo. And we have a, a little mini McDonald's, just fries and sundaes. That's the most important part. At McDonald's, right? Who needs the burgers when you have fries and sundaes? And that's pretty much our tour of the Venice Grand Canal Mall. Hope you enjoyed it. Did you happen to catch my last video on the Greenbelt Malls? If not, you can just click right there, check that out, where I cover Greenbelt 3, 4, and 5. 1 and 2 are under construction. If those open up later, I'll make sure to cover those for you. Thanks for joining me in this little adventure and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next adventure.